All right, everybody, Lewis Williams, iHustleNation.com. Quick reason why I'm doing this blog. Uh, on my show two weeks ago, uh, I forgot how we got on the subject of jobs or whatnot. And, uh, I was telling people, uh, people was talking about what they make, or jobs, or money, and things of that nature. And we, uh, we had got on how I used to work at AT and T in sales. And my last year, I made ninety thousand uh, dollars. It was like between eighty-seven and ninety, something like that. And uh, people uh, made the comment like, Lewis, how the hell you leave that much money to go work for yourself and blah, blah, blah. And I think what happens, real talk, is we have a we have a diluted vision on what a job really is. Like, I don't think nobody really know what a job is. You know, I, I, I think they understand, you know, it, it's, it's work and it brings in money. But I mean, I, I think I think y'all think they forever. And uh, that's that's one of the main purpose of these blog, of uh, the blog today that I'm uh, that I'm making today. Uh, first, a few key points about a job. Yeah, I'm I've been hearing a lot of people make the statement of well, just to have a job or to get a job is a blessing. Well, that ain't in the Bible. Like y'all saying that shit like it's gospel. You know, you know, you should be happy with the job you got. No, and I'm going to point out, you know, uh, 10 reasons why you may should start looking for uh, another job. Well, not necessarily looking for another job. Hold on. I worded this correctly because I don't want to give it. I ain't want to call it 10 ways to quit your job. Uh, so I worded it 10 ways you know you need to take steps to quit your job. And that's long, but you'll remember. Now, you know, you'll catch it. But 10 ways you know you need to take steps to quit your job. Okay, first, let me do a few key points. First, uh, just to have a job, be happy to have a job. Uh, a job is a blessing. Any job is a blessing. That's a damn line. That's not in the Bible. Uh, another key point. Anytime you hear somebody talk about quitting their job, they always uh, take it to the extreme. They say, if I quit my job, I'm going to be homeless. Well, your ass ain't going to be up under no bridge if you quit your job. Quit all that extra. I've been out of my job probably four years now. Uh, now, under a bridge wasn't an option. My dad's sofa was actually an option. But uh, I, I will say I'm truly blessed to why I ain't never had to meet his sofa. I'm still like living on my own and doing my thing. Uh, the third key point. Well, this ain't number three. These are just key points. I ain't got to the list of the ten reasons why you might need to start looking into uh, finding steps to quitting your job. But uh, people believe that, you know, I'm going to just wait this job out and better days will come. People don't understand that you have to create better days. Better days ain't what y'all make them out to be. Well, you know, if you just hold out, better days going to come. Now nah, you got to create your better days. You know, better days ain't just going to roll up, knock on your door and be like, hey, better days here. Uh, uh, we finally showed up. You got to create your better days. Now, I feel like this is just the epiphany I got sitting in my cubicle. I felt like there was, I had more of a purpose in my life than to just sitting in this cubicle selling uh, uh, yellow pages and internet yellow pages for AT&T. That's how I personally felt. Uh, although the money was good, and uh, me, my mom, and my sister, we balled on that money. I ain't even gonna lie to you. We was shit. Y'all think I travel now? We was out there uh, doing it. I'll be with my mom and my sister. Matter of fact, we went to All Star in Vegas. People like, who you with? My mom and my sister. We all, you know, we got a room at the pairs. You know, my mama had to come because she got the room for free. Shout out to uh, her points. But, <laughs> but, like, I feel like, I feel like sitting in there. I'm like, although this is doing it, it's not. I'm not doing what I love. And, and that was a big problem for me. Uh, next key point, and this is what really got me on it on the show two weeks ago. Uh, here's how I can tell uh, weak people. It's how you could tell somebody weak all day. They was like, "Well, Lou, how you leave a ninety thousand dollar job?" I said, "Well, man, they start trying to treat me like I was shit. Man, I don't care how they treat me. Ninety thousand dollars, I stay there. Well, first, I'm a young man." And once they tax ninety thousand dollars, I ain't really going home with no bunch of bread. So please don't believe that's just no whole lot of money for one. It just sound big. For two, I made this statement. I'm gonna stand by this statement. And I don't give a fuck how anybody feel. I will not emasculate myself for a fucking check. Yeah, you can pay me, but you're not gonna treat me like shit. 
I'll leave this bitch before you pay me uh, a big old check and treat me like shit. Now, some people say, oh, I don't care what they pay you. I'm going to stay here. And, you know, I'm going to wait it out. That's bullshit. Uh, you know it, I know it, we all know it. Yeah, it, you know, if they coming in there handling you a certain way every day, after a while, if you got some dignity uh, to yourself, you're going to be like, hold on, man. I don't really care how big that is. And I ain't going to lie, they cut me shit. One check they cut me was a $10,000 check. I ain't even going to lie. I ain't know how that. I sat there. Hell, I ain't gonna lie, I logged into the system and, and, and tax free that check. Y'all know you can log in and make it like, don't no taxes come off on that check? Yes, yes, I did. Tax free that check. Uh, Where's that 10 G's at right now? I, I, let's look into that. But I, it's gone. Fuck it. <laughs> but I balled on that thing. Now, here's another thing, another key point that you wanna always realize. Whatever your job is paying you, you're worth more than twice that. Or it's not cost effective for them to pay you that. I'm going to say that again for you folks that ain't catch it. Whatever your job is paying you, you're worth more than twice that. Or it's not cost effective for them to pay you that. Case in point, y'all saying, Lou, you made $90,000 a year. I did. It was like around 80, 80, 88 and some change, but you know, with bonuses. And I mean, it was, it was, it was around 90. We'll say round it up to 90. But let me tell you one of the things that really made me quit. I sat down and I did the math. Broke out pen, paper, calculator, all the sales I did, all the everything I did, and what the company's going to make that year as well. Well, Lewis made $90,000. Oh, congratulations to Lewis. The company made $1.2 million. Now, I don't know how y'all feel about that, but, uh, I got paid less than 10% of what they made. Um, now, some people are comfortable with that. They not tripping at all. But uh, you can kiss my ass. I had a problem with that. I'm like, all right, you paid me $90,000 and y'all made one point two. Okay, okay, uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not even a hoe that's getting paid well. And that's what I got from that. I was like, oh, I'm not even a hoe that's getting paid well. So let's get to the 10 points. Um, I forgot what it is. What is it, y'all? Hold on. Hold up. I wrote it down. This is the 10 ways you know you need to take steps to quit your job. Now, before I start these, I did a webinar on how to quit your job. I suggest if you fall within some of these 10s, the webinar is only $9. I ain't one of these people running around here trying to get no bunch of money on no damn webinar. Uh, charging up $50, $60 and shit like that. Go to iHustleNation.com. Pay the $9. Sit through the webinar. Please. It's probably about an hour of your time. But please, sit through the webinar. It enlightens you on how to take steps, uh, uh, different things you need to do, processes, you know, how you crank things up on the side, how to get at the proper time, and things of that nature. That's all in the webinar. So I need y'all to uh, 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 go purchase that if you fall within these 10. Now some people got a job and they love it and they ain't got no problem and, and this blog ain't for you. But uh, in a recession uh, like today, uh, that ain't most of y'all. Let's keep it 100. Okay. First reason. If it changes your attitude or your tolerance for the worst. Some people don't notice that their attitude changed for the worst. But what it is, is it's accumulated hostileness due to your job due to what you're doing during the day and some people don't know how to turn it off so what stresses you out during the day stresses you out when you get home you see what I'm saying like, and, and, and you know it's, it's hostile you know I, uh, I had a guy tell me his wife uh, you know she was coming in being snappish being rude and you know he said it wasn't it it's the job that was changing and her being a woman they're emotional so they can't really handle that so he said hey man look this is what we're going to do I'm on work. You quit your job. Because this is really messing with our house. The job was pretty much messing up his house. Now, you know, his statement was, you know, after she quit her job, the house was all good. Everybody, wasn't nobody tripping. She found a job that made her a lot happier. He worked a little harder just so he didn't have to deal with that. Number two, if it stresses you to the point of gaining weight and having anxiety. Um, I don't know about y'all. When I was working in there, I was stressing and gaining weight. Now, here's why I was gaining weight. Because I... In the beginning, when they first started trying to lean in on me, I couldn't say what I wanted to say because I felt like I wasn't allowed to open my mouth. So sometimes when you hold things in, it stress you out. 
Now, towards the end, I started giving their ass the business. Uh, part of the reason I, I got up out of there because uh, they wouldn't fire me. But I started giving their ass the business. Well, you know, I was like, you know what? Y'all ain't going to fire me to get this unemployment, so let me go and just quit. Uh, but if it stresses you to the point of gaining weight and anxiety, it's not worth it. Next. If you get belittled or get demeaned or it lowers your self-esteem, the job is not meant for you to walk in there and get treated like shit. That ain't the point of a job. Now, if you ain't doing your job and they handling you like shit, that's totally different. Quit walking your lazy ass up. And a matter of fact, if you lazy and you don't even like going to work, just go get the webinar right now. Because you don't even want to go no way. You go, up in that, you go up in there every day and you, you, you ain't even in the mood to be there. You stand out the window and shit looking at the cars go by. If, if that interests you, you really need to let it go. But if it belittles you or demeans you or lowers your self-esteem, it, it's seriously time to go. Next, if you have health risk involved, let me give you an example. My brother Kyle, he quit Verizon. Uh, but before, he took a leave of absence because he told him they were gonna, he was going to go crazy. He was like, hey, I think I might go crazy in there, so I need to take a leave of absence. So Kyle, you know, he took his leave of absence. So, you know, me and Kyle, shit, we was kicking and shit. You know, I quit mine, he had quit his. I'm like... Nigga said, what we gonna do? We got free time on our hands. Let's go find something to do. We was kicking in shit. So, when it was finally time for Kyle to go back, he went back. So, that boy came. He came by the house that day. I forgot why he came by. But the first day he went back, he came by. And he came in. His eyes was red. And I'm like, hey, my nigga, you alright? You know, bro, you asleep? He was like, nah, man. I was, I just, you know, just got off work. And I'm like, yeah, well, all right, my nigga, your eyes kind of red, though. You alright? He was like, man, I guess it's just blood pressure from being in there. Let me tell you something. We are black. Niggas can't have high blood pressure. Let's keep it 100. I'm a black male. I'm 30 years old. And I might die right now if I had high blood pressure. So that's part of the reason I live and have fun. So I can keep the stress and the blood pressure and everything down. Because, hell, I can die. Let's just keep it 100. But black males don't need to have high blood pressure. So I told that boy, I said, say, bro, this is what you're going to do tomorrow, bro. I ain't here to run nobody's life, dog. But... Look here, bro. You got on quit. I ain't doing too bad. My nigga, we can just sit up in here. I'd rather see you quit your job than to be going up in there uh, uh, raising your blood pressure and shit and it's stressing your eye like that, man. Your eyes are seriously bloodshot red, homeboy. That shit look unsafe. I mean, I'm like, bro, just quit. So, sure enough, that boy went quit. Now he got a job that he actually liked, too. He, uh, uh, Kyle a gas man he cut off people gas and you know run from dogs and shit like that but that's a whole nother story but next if you walk in preparing to go off you know how some people walk in to work I'll be like man I know if these bitches say one thing to me I can't wait oh if she walk by my desk if he walk over there and say anything to me you're high strung it's time for you to get up out of there now here's what I was getting if you walk in and you gain a headache or instant depression this is number six I would walk in and I would get like hazy looking and you know I would start getting like a headache and like you just start feeling like oh you know if you walk in and gain a headache or instant depression it's time to go number seven if management leans in and pins and pinpoints you due to differences now here's one of the reasons I left management said hey y'all this is how y'all gonna sell you read from a script I said say man I'm number one in sales. I ain't reading from no damn script. So, sure enough, they said we everybody's required to, Lewis. I said, all right, I got you. I appeased them, grabbed the script, tossed that shit. Was doing me. So, I sold a big sale. So, they say, oh, Lewis, why don't you stand up and tell us how you sold that, sweat, sold that sale? I like, you know, the guy called, blah, 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 this, that, another. They say, well, how'd the script work for you, Lewis? I said, what script? <laughs> why the hell I do that? <laughs> what script? Man, the the head head dude was like the script that we gave everybody to read. So you know, but at that point I was caught. I said, "Say, I ain't gonna lie. I don't use that script. I feel like that script is for people who can't sell. Clearly, if I had to sell this big, I don't need the script." So everybody started nodding their head. Let me tell you what management don't want. They don't want people agreeing with you. Management don't like to be wrong. People's doing me like this. Management was doing like this. I said, yeah, they about to pinpoint me and start getting off in my ass. And they damn sure did that. Number eight. If you're rumored to have layoffs or, or have already had layoffs, you're numbered. Them days numbered on that. 
I mean, layoffs is getting real. Matter of fact, State of the Union, uh, President Barack Obama, he made a statement. I know a lot of people watch the State of the Union, but they don't actually listen. The dude said, it's harder now to get jobs. Companies that used to operate with 200,000 have learned to operate with 100,000 and feel no need to add that other 100,000. If y'all would have listened pretty much, this is what I got from it in the State of the Union. Barack was like, man, look, these jobs ain't coming back. And he did make the statement, you need to create your job. Create you a job. And the webinar goes into all that. But, you know, that, that I mean, if it's rumored to have layoffs, I already had layoffs, you need to get up out of there. Number nine, if you sit at work every day and you feel worthless or you feel like you're capable of more. Now, here's the truth. Some people don't feel capable of more. They don't give a damn. They like, you know, I'm up in here. It's good. They paying me. I go home. It's all good. But sometimes I was sitting in that cubicle like, it got to be more than this. They didn't block Facebook, MySpace, uh, trying to block YouTube. I'm like, this is the only out I got from here. You didn't block all my outs. I'm like, it has to be more than life to me uh, coming to work, hoping they ain't block a site I like to go to to laugh at. It had to be that. So I just was sitting there and I, I had a window seat because I've been there a while and I was number one. But damn it, looking out that window just wasn't doing it for me after a while. So I was just like, man, it has to be more to life than this right here. And if you have that feeling, uh, pretty much I wouldn't be doing this right now if I didn't have that feeling, leave and start doing my own thing. Uh, number 10, if you stand because you think you're going to retire. Let me help my generation out. I don't know how old the age bracket is of people that are watching this right now, but let me help my generation out. First, and this is one of the things I stay in the webinar. First, you must always remember your job don't owe you shit but the check you worked for. That's all they owe you. They don't owe you retirement. Companies, most people don't follow companies, corporations, shit like that. Companies aren't around long enough for us to retire from. My generation hang that shit up there'll be no retirement for you it's not happening 25 30 years at a company they don't last that long they bomb cut them holes up and then later on bring it back together there's the, the, i mean if if you slide through the crack for 30 years which i doubt it uh you at at t you think you're doing a good t-mobile buy them out oh well y'all tenure uh we gonna we ain't dealing with you like that you can still work here but about that retirement now T-Mobile don't operate like what you signed under AT&T. So, those are the 10 reasons. Hold on. I keep referring back to this shit. I, I, I know. Those are the 10 ways you know you need to take steps to quit your job. Hopefully, that helped you. Um, I had a few people two weeks ago from the show start asking me questions. So, I'm like, maybe it does deserve a video. So, that's 10 ways you know you need to take steps to quit, to quit your job. This is Life Skills with iHustleNation.com, so we do provide life skills. So there's a webinar provided that I did, How to Quit Your Job. It's $9. I suggest you go get it. If you fall up under these guidelines and you feel like it's necessary, I suggest you go grab that thing. So go to iHustleNation.com, click webinars, make it happen. As always, I am Lewis Hendrick Williams III, and I do appreciate your time.